They're at David's house. How's it going, guys? Uh, today we are uh, taking the trike to Velocity. It's a bike shop here. It's actually Velo City. They've uh, said that they will take care of the tiger duck until I come back to Taiwan, which will be pushed back now until March, March 3rd. So in the meantime, I will be doing uh, Chinese New Year, Christmas, and Yuan Xiao Jia uh, back in China. But uh, things have been really nice. David and I have been chit-chatting all the time. And, uh, We're connecting with a bunch of bicycle manufacturers and planning out the future here in Taiwan when I come back. I think Taiwan is going to be a really fantastic ride. Uh, the weather has been kind of crappy the last couple of days, but things are... See the blue? It's a blue up there. But there's gray over there. Hello. So if that footage was not good, it's his fault. If it's really good, it's because I'm a good teacher. <laughs> wow, what is that, a um, um, Lamborghini? Uh... Yeah, McLaren. I know about KFC, but what the hell is KLG? It's just like KFC, but without the franchise fees. <laughs> is, is it me? Very stylish. Very cool. <laughs> I think this one is more you, man. Yeah, the plaid. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. have a brim on. What's that music in the background? <laughs> oh, you look Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> These are my uh, rabbi. <laughs> I'm leaving them. You guys need a moment? I do. I need a moment. It's gonna be okay, okay? They'll, be, they'll take care of you here. They'll take care of you. David will be close by just in case you need somebody to talk to. And look at all these new friends. And look at all your buddies. You got a whole family here to take care of you. I know they don't look like you, but you know what? Different is cool. You'll fit in. It'll be okay. All right, guys, if you're in Taiwan and uh, you're near Taipei, why don't you come and pay some respect to, uh, to the tiger dog? I'm sure he'll be lonely and would like to see some people from the Jaya Nation to make him feel good, so. <laughs> This is Nelson. Hi. He owns uh, Velo City. This place in particular, how long has it been open? It's only open in uh, uh, three months. It's uh, very new. Yeah. We're yeah. gracing it with the presence of the tiger duck. In Taiwan, the first one and the only one, we are 100% focusing on the urban bike, city bike. So we, we are learning from Copenhagen and Amsterdam. Okay. We want Taipei and Taiwan in the future, nearly future, to be one of the, the cycling cities. And we make really great bicycles in Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we can do that. Yeah. yeah. Feel free to come here because we have also have a shower room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have a shower room inside. Oh, let's yeah. see the shower room. You can come here. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> oh wow. wow. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Leaving the bike, getting on the the e-bike. I hope the tiger duck doesn't miss me too much. We're doing some Western lunch. You know me and hamburgers. I mean, anywhere is fine. Yeah, Taiwan's interesting. It's set up like with all these these bike holding areas, so you get to a light. And then all the e-bikes and bikes and everything kind of congregate at these these like waiting areas. And then when the light changes, you 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 roll out. Oftentimes, see that one over there, that box right there. That one's for uh, everybody that's going straight. 
these people are going across, right? Yeah. So everybody here is going across the street. So we're about to turn now. Weird. They do a similar thing in Australia. It's called a hook turn. Yeah. It's a little bit different than the trike. Less piddly. You couldn't put the two of us on the trike, that's for sure. <laughs> And uh, it's quite an accomplishment getting the two of us on a scooter. What's the name of this place? Sunny Hills Bakery. Home of the best uh, pineapple cake in Taiwan. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Cheers. Do we eat it right away? Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Cheers. Yeah, I'm here. Cheers. <laughs> so tell me about the marketing plan here. They just give you free stuff. Yeah, the they um, they let you uh, like your first hit is free. <laughs> it's uh, the first one's free, but it's a great cake, and uh, you will come back for more. You come back for more, and then you pay. So it's a nice buttery pastry. Mm. Oh, and it's got a nice tart pineapple filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do food food vlogs. <laughs> tart pineapple. I'm the filling. guy to do that. I just go, mmm, mmm, that's good, mmm. But you're like, the nuanced flavor is what gives it its bite. Or well, we can be like the food ranger. Hey, how long? Hey, how long? Feeling's good. Do you think it's not too sweet? And yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like the outer shell is, is sort of like more like a cookie. I thought it was going to be like a Twinkie, but it's not. It's like a, it's like a almost like a sh buttery shortbread. Mm. Mm. This is a weird bike that I've seen a few of. One, two, three, four. It's a quad, but it's not a quad. It's a training wheels kind of thing. Just to keep it from tipping over? For people that have crutches and... Oh, wow. They're really bad drivers, most of them. All right, boss, now where are we going? Uh, we're going to experience some American culture with a Taiwanese twist. An American culture Taiwanese twist? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Are you guys curious? <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> All right. Hooters. <laughs> As an American, I know Hooters quite well. So why do you come to uh, Hooters? For the uh, sophistication, for the class, for the, the style, ambiance. for the ambiance? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, we ate. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to record the food or anything, but I had a burger, he had a burger. I know, you had, you had chicken, chicken wings. wings. That's why I come here. Not just the ambiance, but the wings. Spicy wings in 911 sauce, amazing. And Hooters. So one thing that uh, David suggested is using your friend's maker space. Is it your friend? Yes. Yes. And, uh, and maybe doing like sort of like a seminar when I come back to Taiwan. And it would be a great way to start off the tour of Taiwan by telling my story, maybe getting a bunch of people together. Hello, hello. And, uh, and he said he has the perfect space to do it. So we're gonna check out uh, the maker space right now. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hi. Hi, Matt. Nice nice to meet you. Matt's cycling around the world. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> this is Dan. Dan runs Hi, runs this place. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, How long have you had it? Uh, this location we just soft launched uh, last September, and it's a uh, it's a co-working space with a small maker space in the back. Cool. And uh, we designed it as a soft landing pad for uh, international entrepreneurs who want to 
uh, access the resources available in Taiwan. Uh, when I come back to Taiwan after going and spending Chinese New Year and everything in China, we'll do a we'll do a seminar here. Yeah. We'll bring some people. We'll videotape it and have some uh, we'll have some fun. Oh wow! So it seats about so neat. Uh, two projectors, uh, function one uh, concert speakers. <laughs> uh, my partner's other businesses. Um, Audio? Yeah. How many members do you have right now? So we have 17 private offices here. Uh, most of them are like about four people. So these are these are chairs. These are chairs. Yeah. If you uh, don't, you go you go three sixty. You use your stomach. It's kind of refreshing. So did you design these here, or is this something you No, no, no this is a British, uh, British designer. <laughs> you brainstorm this wall, ceiling, that wall, community. Yeah. This is a rapid prototyping lab with 3D printers, CNC machines. Uh, huh. We laser cut these at the, uh, the other maker space. So I live here in Ningbo. Oh, okay. And uh, I went up into Seoul, went across to Busan, then I took a ferry to o uh, Osaka, across to Maizuru, then I went to Hokkaido, rode around all the way down a couple of days ago, came to Taiwan, then I'm going to come down around Australia and New Zealand, then back, then through India, through, okay, yeah, and then in wow. Turkey, and then all the way up to Norway, come down to the UK, down, down into Africa, and then take a ferry to here and then come go down to Antarctica and then up and then through Central America up to Maine back down through uh, Michigan and in Los Angeles. All right, we've been at the coffee shop now for a number of hours. I've been working on a episode of the vlog for today. I still am very far behind, but uh, I think it's time I go shopping. Uh, I gotta buy some gifts for Eva and uh, Annie and Dada and Xiao Xiao and everybody. So I'm gonna go to a mall and buy some stuff later, later. You see, the problem with buying gifts in today's day and age is you can get them online so much cheaper. I'm walking around the store and every time I pick out something for Eva or Dada or Xiao Xiao or anybody, I check it online. It's cheaper and it can be shipped. I don't even have to carry it on the plane. It sort of takes the joy away from shopping for gifts. If all you have to do is go online and search and have it drop shipped, I mean, it makes it easier in some ways, but a lot less fun. Anyways, I'm trying to find some things, but I can't get online. <laughs> and it's really hard. <laughs> Well, folks, I'm a little bit poorer, but hopefully some people will be a little bit happier. These shopping centers are weird. You can't pay at each of these little kiosks. You have to go to a totally different area to charge your card. And there's different areas for different cards. Like I have a Union Pay card, and I had to walk all the way to a special area, and then they said, no, it's closed. And then I had to walk all the way to another area, and then they said, no, you can't use that card, you gotta use another card. And then I used the other card, which I had already used like 10 other times. I used that first card. No, you can't use it here. You gotta, I, I, walked, I walked 10 kilometers just to pay, pay for something. Not 10 kilometers, but you know, it felt like it. All right, guys, now my last meal in uh, Taiwan for quite a while. What do I get? What do I get? I literally don't know. But at the end of this spin, you'll find out. Me and my American appetite, so hungry. I got ramen, which is kind of cool, throwback uh, to Japan. And then I got some pork. So it's, it's literally two, two dishes. I made sure that when I finish this, I will be full. So I'm gonna enjoy this, I will talk to you later. Actually, I'm gonna end the vlog, unless something happens at the house. But uh, um, tomorrow we're flying back to Ningbo. We're gonna see Eva and Annie. And things are gonna be shifting gears for a while. So take it easy, Jayo, and I will talk to you later.